Hey everybody, the other day when I did my Aldi haul, I showed you this kale pesto sauce and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. So I'm going to show you this morning what I'm doing with it. It's just a pasta sauce and kale pesto pasta sauce. And then I said, well, I have some chicken. I need to do something with the chicken. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. And I said, you know what, let's do something with the two of them. So with three ingredients, I'm going to show you what I'm going to cook. It is a simple, let me turn you this way. It is the pesto sauce, some mushrooms, and some chicken. So I am going to get this skillet heated up a little bit. I'm not going to use olive oil. I usually cook with olive oil, but today I'm going to use straight up butter because I like cooking with butter. All right, that's why I'm going to do it. So it is Sunday. Um, I hope you're all well. I was going to go to church this morning, but um, I'm feeling a little under the weather. I went out yesterday to um, where Max is buried, and I did a little cleaning up and decorating um, his little spot, and I put some pinwheels out there and um, new solar lights, and I woke up this morning feeling really bleh, like a bad sore throat, sneezing, coughing, and I said, oh no, oh no. I was afraid I was getting sick, so I did a test, you know, the test, well, I don't want to say it, and you know, there's none of that going on, thank goodness, because yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that again, I'm not. So, um, I think it's probably just allergies, tis the season, or it could be, um, you know, seasonal cold or something. I was telling somebody the other day that ever since I got sick with the virus three years ago, I haven't had as much as a cold. I've been sick with nothing. So I made it this far. Yeah. So anyways, the pan is getting um, hot and I got the butter in there. So I already cut up the mushrooms um, for the sake of time. So I'm going to cut up the chicken a little bit. And yeah, so I didn't go to church, but the new church that I um, started going to, I found them. I, well, not, I didn't find them on YouTube, but I found that they have a YouTube channel. So I watched one of their services um, from a couple of years ago this morning. So that was good. I was still able to have a little church. Well, I had coffee and felt lousy. Still feel a little lousy, but I'm glad it's nothing more than, like I said, just the uh, allergies or a cold. So, let's cut this up a little bit. But the um, message that the pastor was talking about I really liked because he was talking about um, worldly possessions. I'm gonna watch what I'm doing. I end up cutting my fingers off instead of just the chicken. He was talking about worldly possessions, and um, not being of this world. Not. Excuse me. Not worrying about worrying so much about what you have and buying things left and right because in the end you can't take it with you. And while some people might say, "Oh well, you know, it's all right to to um, add up worldly possessions while you're here, have a little fun," well, that might be so. That might be so. But while we're here, we should concentrate on living a good life, making do with what we have. 
because again, you can't take it with you. And I live a good life. I live a frugal life. You all know that. But my main concern isn't how much is in my wallet, what car I drive, what brand pocketbook I have, anything like that. So yeah. So that's what he was talking about and I really liked it because that was right up my alley because I don't concentrate on things. I don't concentrate on um, having the next gadget that everybody has and you know that if I see something on the side of the road and I can bring it home and do something with it, it was for free, we bring it home and I do something with it. But anyways, I'll show you, I got the chicken and the mushrooms cooking in the pan. Let that cook a little bit. And then we will add the sauce. And the last time I did that, and I promised you that I would never drop you again, I dropped you. I dropped you again. You okay? Really, are you okay? I'm okay. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of garlic salt in this chicken, but I'm not going to add too much because this pesto, kale pesto sauce, I already tasted it because I took the, the lid off already because I didn't want to struggle in front of you guys to get it off. But um, maybe I should have let you see me struggle because I just dropped you on the floor. My goodness. All right, this is cooking a little bit. We'll let that cook. I'll cover this. And yeah, I don't know. We should probably talk about something. We, we should talk about this tripod, huh? Because I'm afraid to touch it right now. I don't know what it is. I don't leave my tripod out, like in the living room or in the kitchen when I do a video. As soon as I'm done with the video, I take the phone off and I collapse the tripod and I put it in my closet. I don't like having things hanging out. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just leave it, right? Yeah. So, anyways... I'm going to let this cook, I'll put this on pause. When the chicken's done, we'll add the sauce to it, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. And I'm still laughing over here about you falling on the floor, or me dropping you on the floor. Anyways, I'm going to try really hard to um, make this a safe, um, safe turn, right? So that you can see. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You're nice and secure. There's the chicken and the mushrooms. I'm going to put the sauce in it. Oh, you're falling. You're falling. Oh, oh, very good. Okay. All right. You guys all right? You all right? I felt it slipping. Wow. Funny, huh? Okay, anyways. So, chicken and mushroom are cooked. And I'm going to, I'm not going to drain the, um, not going to drain the buttery juice out of this because it just adds to it. So, here is the kale pesto sauce that I got at Aldi. We're just going to add it right to this chicken and mushroom. See how thick that is? I don't know if you want to see it. See that? Yeah, it's dripping all over my hands. It's, it's, it's really thick. It's chunky and it's got a lot of kale in it. All right. You know what? I should like... I should start a comedy cooking channel, and I should, because this is funny. This is funny, especially why I drop you on the floor. All right, so there we go. Let's put that in there, and I'm going to stir it up, and I'm not going to move the tripod or the camera, because I'm just not. You will probably appreciate me not doing that. But I will, in a second, um, turn the camera around so you can see how this looks. It looks really good. You might even be able to see it now. But 
I will turn it around and I will serve this. I will serve this over pasta. Egg noodles. I like egg noodles. My favorite is angel hair pasta. I'm doing everything I can to not drop you, so that's why we're doing it like this. All right. So let me turn this around. I promise you I won't drop you, and we can see what this is looking like. Okay, so that is the jar of the kale pesto sauce. The chicken that I got from Aldi, it was thin sliced uh, chicken breast and the mushrooms, and that looks really good. It looks really good and I'm sure it tastes even better than it looks. And there you are, back up on the tripod safely. I got my um, little pan of the sauce and the chicken and the mushrooms and that will be for this week. Let me turn this down a little bit and cover it. That will be for this week after work. I don't like to cook a big meal after work and I think um, dishes like this, sauces, and whatever food, I think it tastes better the next day after you cook it. So this will be for supper tomorrow, maybe the, the day after. And I'll, like I said, serve it with pasta or maybe even a little rice or I don't know. I could throw something else in that and even have it like a little stew. So happy Sunday. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in this little cooking, falling on the floor event that I felt like doing this morning. I hope you all enjoy your Sunday and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.